first of the associated uh, protocol uh, HTTP hypertext transfer protocol. HTTP is probably the most important uh, application layer protocol. Essentially, this protocol underpins the World Wide Web. It is used uh, when, for example, fetching an HTML document from a web server. Uh, this makes use of hyperlinks, rules for transferring of data over the internet. These are called hyperlinks. HTTP is a client server protocol. Request messages, uh, request messages are sent out to the web servers, which then respond. HTTP protocols define the format of the messages sent and received. The web browser, which is part of the application layer, initiates the web page request and also converts HTML into a format which can be displayed on user's screen or can be displayed through the, uh, their media player, whatever. Now, uh, FTP file transfer protocol here. Uh, the file transfer protocol or FTP is a network protocol used when transferring files from one computer device to another via the internet or other networks. It makes it easy for us to manipulate files uh, uh, like over the cloud or another computer or the network, like we are manipulating files on our own hard disks. Uh, it is similar to HTTP and SMTP, but FTP is only uh, task is the application protocol for the transfer of files over a network. Web browsers can be used to connect to an FTP address in a way similar to HTTP. Uh, additional features of FTP include uh, anonymous FTP. This allows a user to access files without the need to identify who they are to the FTP server. FTP commands. Uh, a user is able to carry out actions that can change files stored um, on the FTP server. For example, delete, close, rename, change directory, and so on and so forth. FTP server. This is uh, where the files which can be downloaded as required by a user are stored. You uh, must be aware of Google Drive and uh, Microsoft OneDrive and Dropbox, these all use such protocols to keep their files uh, at their server as well as on our machines and allow us to manipulate those files, although they are over internet in their cloud, like they are available in our own computer. A session would be started by typing in, HT, in FTP hostname if we are using a command line version rather than uh, the Windows. The user would then be able to use FTP commands to carry out the number of actions. Nowadays, we do not use a, a command based interface, rather, we use a graphical user interface that is much better than that. Then we have got a simple mail transfer protocol and multi purpose inter, uh, uh, intermailed extension. So, let's see. SMTP is a text based. Uh, protocol uh, used when sending emails. It is sometimes referred to as push uh, protocol. In other words, a client opens a connection to a server and keeps the connection active all the time. The client then uploads a new email uh, to the server. The thing is that you need to understand is that um, email clients like Outlook or any other uh, email client that you download in your phone or your computer, uh, if it is not internet based. By saying internet based, I, I mean if it is not over the browser. So if you are typing uh, uh, gmail.com and you are reaching out to gmail in your browser or hotmail.com or uh, something like that and you are accessing your emails over the internet through the browser then it is not uh, smtp it is then imap i internet message protocol so we will be discussing it separately so these are the protocol smtp and mime we use them or post office protocol when we are using internet client email client applications not the browser since SMTP is text-based only, it does not handle binary files. A binary file is a file containing media or images as well as text 
and is regarded as being uh, computer readable only. If an email contains attachment made up of, uh, for example, images, video, music, then it is necessary to use multi-purpose internet mail extension. Multi-purpose internet mail extension protocol instead. Uh, a MIME header is used as the beginning of the transmission. Clients use this header to select which media player is needed when the attachment is opened. So, mind it, if it is just text that we are fetching, we will be using SMTP, but if it is um, other media, then we will be using MIME, M-I-M-E. Let's discuss uh, POP3, Post Office Protocol, three or four, these are the versions, and Internet Message Access Protocol, IMAP, are protocols used when receiving emails uh, from the email server. These are known as pull protocols. The client periodically connects to a server, checks for and downloads new emails from the server. The connection is then closed. This process is repeated to ensure the client is updated. IMAP uh, or IMAP is a more recent protocol than POP, but both have really been uh, surpassed by the increasing use of HTTP protocols. However, SMTP is still used when transferring emails between email server. Now, the main difference between uh, POP 3.4 and IMAP uh, is uh, actually synchronization. So POP 3 or 4 does not keep uh, the server and client in synchronization. When emails are downloaded by the client, they are then deleted from the server, which means it is no further updated if it is POP3. Whereas on IMAP, uh, IMAP keeps the server and client in synchronization. Only a copy of the email is downloaded with the original remaining on the server until the client manually deletes it. So this was about uh, application layer. And let's